Hi everyone, welcome back to Staffordshire Car Care. This week we have an Audi R8, a Tesla Model 3, and a few other things coming up very, very soon. So stay tuned. To kickstart the week, we've got this Tesla Model 3 on the ramps, ready to have ceramic coatings applied to the paint, wheels, trim, glass, interior, fabrics, and also paint protection film are being applied to the bumper bonnet, wings and mirrors. We've got the Audi R8 having a one stage machine polish along with ceramic coatings to the paint wheels interior. Bit of a challenge with the wheels, they've been coated somewhere else, uh, as could have been done a little bit better. So we're going to remove the coating, the old coating, and then reinstall Gion Q2 rim. Hey Martin. Hello Craig. What do you like about detailing on a daily basis? Oh, I love couching freshly machined polished cars that leave a smooth finish like glass. Hey Greg, what do you find frustrating about car detailing on a daily basis? Most likely drying the car, an, un an uncoated car, it just takes forever and ever and ever. Cascade. Cascade the water over and you're just going around collecting the last little bits and it's nice and easy. The Audi R8 and the Model 3, both have been completed, so take a look and let's see what they look like. Okay, so the Audi R8 is now left after having its two-stage machine polish and ceramic coatings throughout. The Tesla Model 3 is now sitting here patiently waiting for the customer after having, again, ceramic coatings on the paint, but this time having paint protection film to the front end. Um, we've done a little bit of a treat. We've uh, coated the interior for this customer too. So he'll be arriving very, very soon, which we'll be super excited about. So we best get the final touches completed all the documents ready and we'll head over to you very soon with the cars that are coming in shortly this afternoon. So two new vehicles have arrived for Gion protection treatments, the Tesla Model Y and the Jaguar E-Pace. Stick around and we'll show you the results of both of those treatments. When we send out a proposal for a new car protection treatment, we often get the question, why do you need to machine polish my brand new car? It's brand new. Good question, but a lot of cars do take a very long journey from the factory to your local dealership. They go on transporters, boats and in containers and all sorts of various storage and can be left at the dealership for some time before you receive your car. Sometimes atmospheric fallout can land on your vehicle and stay there for a short period of time and can bond to the surface of the paint. Sometimes there's a chemical process that can remove the contamination or there is a mechanical process which is using a clay bar and some lubricant to extract the fallout off the paint. This Tesla Model Y has come to us with some fallout and if you listen carefully as you rub your hand across the surface of the paint, you can hear the roughness which is caused by the contaminant on the surface of the paint. So take a listen. So on this occasion, we need to mechanically remove the fallout by a clay bar, some lubricant, and rubbing the surface until that pulls and drags off the contaminant away. Then we'll follow through with the single stage machine polish to finish off the vehicle's paint ready for the ceramic coat. So for those of you who have ordered a brand new Tesla Model Y, some of you may notice that the factory paint protection film installed on the lower rear doors can contain a little bit of contamination or maybe a bubble here and there. So we'll get rid of the factory PPF and then we'll install Gion Protect Plus PPF. 
After having a treatment to your car, whether it be ceramic coating, paint protection film, or a combination of both, some of you may have products at home that are more than good enough to look after the car afterwards. If you haven't, then we can supply a wash kit which contain all the things that you need to look after the car afterwards. In addition, you can have a wash guide from Gion which will explain how to maintain your car washing, drying and aftercare products that can be applied on top of your coatings and PPF. Going back to why we should polish a brand new car. I hope the camera can pick this up but you're looking at the clarity in the little LED light in our ceiling. Hopefully you can see that there is more clarity in polished area and there is not much clarity in the non-polished area. So this Jaguar E-Pace is having a Gion Mohs Evo coating. Let's take a look at what is inside the box of a Mohs Evo coating. So what comes in the Mohs Q2 Evo paint coating? I hear you ask. So, well, you get a small applicator with a microfiber side and a suede side. You get the bottle of 30 mil, or there are 50 mil and above, bottle of Mohs Q2 Evo, which is the ceramic coating for the paints, a little handy wash guide, and inside you get all the information on how to maintain your ceramic coating once installed. You get a little geonized, hashtag geonized sticker to place on your car somewhere if you want to. The door sticker or wherever you want it located, you tick the appropriate coating and sign and date it and that's for future reference and a full instruction manual of how to install. To finish off the end of the week, we have the Mercedes CLS shooting brake, having a two stage machine polish and multiple ceramic coatings throughout. The reason why we're doing a two stage machine polish on this car is because it has a high level of swirls. That is just due to lots of rubbing and wiping and washing activity since it has been purchased brand new. So we're gonna remove all those swirls, install a ceramic coating, and then show you the results of what that looks like shortly. The Jaguar E-Pace is nearly finished. It's approaching the time when the customer wants to come and collect his car. So there's some final checks to carry out. What we have done to this car is a new car paint protection treatment with ceramic coatings to the paint. We've also done the trim. We've removed each wheel the wheel arch liners, the wheels themselves, brake calipers, etc. Just to make it nice and easy for you to clean in the future. We've also carried out leather protection and fabric protection. Now if you are looking for something of this nature, please head over to our website www.staffordshirecarcare.co.uk If you have any questions that you would like to ask us regarding the detailing, any help and support and tips and tricks, also comment below. So we'll show you the results of what this Jaguar looks like coming up very soon. Egg, what do you look forward to the most when you come into work every morning at Staffordshire Car Care? Mm. My morning tea gets me ready for the day. Martin, what do you find that's frustrating about car detailing on a daily basis? I don't like seeing my friend and colleague, Craig, being upset when things are not going quite to plan. Coming up to five o'clock, the Mercedes CLS is very close to being done, so final touches and this will be ready after a two-stage machine polish to the paint, ceramic coating also, but no wheels this time, I think they could do with a refurb. Interior has been cleaned, the leather has been cleaned, the fabric and leather has been coated and it is very close to going out. The customer is on his way. So, don't forget, ask us any questions, whether it's detailing, the detailing business, or some helpful tips that you may need. Now we're gonna head you over to see what this car looks like now it's completed.
Here we are again at the end of a busy week. As you can see, the studio is now empty and all the cars have gone. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, tap on the bell icon to be notified when our next video is uploaded. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye.